Hey everyone, I hope everybody's having a good Friday night. I am Savannah Storm and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sure you saw the title. I kind of dulled it down. I actually want to put something a little more, probably get me in trouble type -ish, you know. So I changed the wording around that way that YouTube doesn't pin me for or something. But uh, I'm gonna, I've already talked about face apps and and changing your, your facial imaging on social media platforms in a past video. But um, the other side of that I didn't touch on is how prone, especially trans females, are to body image distortions. Uh, you know, in just my opinion, it's caused by what does the standard female look like? What does the standard male look like? You know, I'm 43, um, I was born in 1978, and, you know, maybe I'm a little bit older than some of you. I've seen a little bit more as far as everybody kind of being stuck in their gender roles and, and what's expected of each gender, you know. You see memes on social media all the time, you know, well, the woman's in the kitchen cooking and the man's out working, making making the, making the bread, you know. And no, it's not like that anymore, you know. The older generation tends to think like that, and you know that's their right. But um, on the blockers, I was so paranoid when they told me that if my potassium levels were too high, that it can it can hurt you, you know, to a point it can actually like put really make you sick. Uh, but and I've lost I've lost a, a ton of weight since I got on the blockers, and I. On the other side of that, I haven't talked a whole lot personally about what I do throughout the day when I'm not on here bothering you guys. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm into carpentry. We bought an older house, you know, it, it's like a 1,700 square feet house. It's not that big, but I've added like over 2,000 feet of decking onto the house. Um, I've added a playhouse literally built onto the deck that goes straight from the yard to the deck, straight to the house. You don't ever have, have to touch the ground. Do I do I, <clears throat> do I think my blockers made me lose some of the weight? I'm pretty sure it helped, it helped to a point, yeah. And then just work, working my butt off kind of did the other thing. And, you know, growing up male most of my life, and, um, you know, at one point I was a very, a very avid weightlifter. You know, my biggest weight, when I was still big, my biggest, when I was sitting about 225, 230, uh, one of my biggest weight benches ever was 400 pounds. Um, and my deadlifts were, you know, in the 325s, 350s. And now if I did that, you know, I'd break my back. I, you know, because going from 230, 225 down to what I'm sitting at right now, right now, which is about, I'm sitting at about 148. So, um, yeah, I think the blockers had something to do with the weight loss the other part of that is and here's the root of what we're going to talk about the other half of that is in my mind because of growing up around the generation that i did the women according to everybody back then they were supposed to have the hips the narrow flat stomachs and there's you know they're supposed to be thin so that's what i grew up thinking was what the typical female look like. So then I come out as trans and I had it and still do. I'm still way guilty of it right now to this point. I've, I've had it set in my mind all these years and even now that big muscles equals masculine and small frame, kind of big butt, you know, medium boobs equals feminine. Um, and even now, some of the stuff my kids watch on TV, you know, and they're in the five-year-old to eleven-year-old uh, range. Let's see now, you know, th these young actors—they all got perfect teeth. You know, uh, you know, in production, they always put makeup on them, and, and they just. To me, it just goes back to the face apps. People are so not real anymore. And, and it, it leads to the body images, then it leads to eating disorders, then it leads to bigger things above the eating disorders. And you, you don't have to be small to be feminine, and you don't have to be huge to be a guy. 
you know, um, some people that are may watch this, they're going to be like, well, don't tell me to be mad, not to, be, you know, I need to be more feminine. No, I'm not telling you to be more feminine. I'm just saying, you know, this is 2021. Uh, you know, if, if somebody like me can live as a dude for 43 years and decide that it's time to come out and, and live the rest of my life, however long I may die in the morning, you never know, you know, but live however long I have left as a female. I don't expect you to, to believe that I can do that. I don't, I don't expect you to conform to my idealisms of, of, of what's, what's male, what's female. I just, I don't, I believe that the gender role should bleed a little on top of each other. Now, you know, um, I mean, my sister, she's a vet. Her husband's a vet. Uh, they both work in the school systems. I'm not going to name the school systems. I'm not stupid, but, um, you know, they're working in school systems and they see trans, trans females and males all the time. And they're not judgmental. They just let them do their own thing. I see videos all the time of, where it seems like these, uh, these other videos on Facebook, especially, they have a way bigger agenda of trying to persuade somebody how to think than I ever will. I don't want you to think like me. I don't want you to say, okay, you got a wig on and you're trying to look like a female. I accept. I don't need your acceptance. I don't want your acceptance. I, I'm going to do what I need to do for me. And if you're out there watching this right now and you're questioning whether you're trans, bi non-binary, male, female, whatever, um, you know, queer, it, it don't matter what, don't worry about what other people think. I mean, I, I know that, is, that sounds harsh. I'm not saying, hey, just push everybody's opinions aside. But, uh, you know, re reason, I think reason will be the word, the key word. Within reason, don't just blow them off. Listen to what they have to say. You know, if they're just being, if they're being irate, irate about it because you just came out, they're going to need time. Just back off them, you know. That's what's happened with my family. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. I was bored today. Man, it, it's been raining nonstop here. And finally it quit. And now it's starting to cook. I'm, I'm ready for winter. I'm already tired of summer. I've had enough. It can, it can snow again. I'm ready. But, uh, you know, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to go long tonight. I'm just saying that this is 2021. There's been so much happened in the last two years. It seems like um, LGBTQ plus rights are moving in the right direction, but it's a slow process. It always has been. Uh, there's been quite a few big breakthroughs, but I'm not going to go into that because I'm not, I, I tell you all the time on here, I will not get into the political side of that. But just to reiterate, I'm not telling if there's any guys watching, I'm not saying, okay, be more feminine. You know, I'm not telling you that. If you don't want to be feminine, feminine, don't. You know. The other, the other thing is uh, the way you dress. If you're trans, whether you're trans or uh, trans female, whether you're trans male, or you're cis male, or cis female, the clothes. Okay, I've got shirts in my closet right now. My looks have changed enough. If I wear them, yeah, they're they're on that borderline of unisex. Like when I first came out, before I started changing, I used to wear, uh, you know, my guy clothes all the time because I look more guy. So that's what I wanted everybody to believe I was. I was until my looks and my body start changing a little more. And even now, I can, I, you know, I thought I was hiding it, wearing a ball cap. I'd put a ball cap on and cover my long hair up. And my eyebrows, I'd paint on and my makeup. I'd put a ball cap on, some some baggy dude pants and Adidas plain black t-shirt. And finally, I got to the point one day I looked at my wife. I said, I'm not covering this up, am I? And she said, no. She said, even the guy's clothes now, you've changed enough that... The clothes are, you know, so now that I'm starting to look and actually present more female, I can wear the guy clothes all I want. I think people are going to start seeing the female side of me more, and that's fine. 
I, I'm comfortable in guy clothes. I'm comfortable in girl clothes. Honestly, as far as I go, I'm I'm more of like a sporty dresser. You won't see me wear much. Um, you know, I won't be running around very much with ruffles hanging off my shirt. I, I'd rather maybe wear pants that are too tight or, or like the shirt I got out. I'm now just a shirt for Walmart. It's got some clever little saying, plain black on it. That's how I dress as a guy, too. Just comfortable. I want to look sporty. I, you know? I, I don't want to look like I just came out of some old western boutique somewhere. I mean, if you're into that, fine. If, if you're like the diva and you want to do that, I, I've tried... I tried doing the diva thing at, at the clubs when I was younger. You know, most of our friends were either gay or trans. And they dressed me up. Back then, I just wasn't into it. I, you know, I'd get out there. I was so embarrassed and nervous. I Before I could get off the stage, I'd have, like, all the other clothes ripped off already. And they're like, what are you doing? You're going to ruin the clothes, you know. But, you know, just do your thing. And, and like, rid it. Okay, this is going to sound like I'm just having a self-esteem issue here and it's not, but I get on a lot of these, um, these trans male and female sites on Reddit and I'll go on there and you know how blunt I am and I'll, I'll post my selfies and I'll get maybe 50, you know, 50 likes, maybe two, three comments. Um, you know, somebody further along in transition posts one and they weigh 110 pounds and, and they're 18, maybe 17 tops. You know, they'll get two, three hundred. And, and that's that's kind of in my mind where I'm getting the trend that, that people are. There's such a battle between plus size women and too small of women still. You know, uh, it just. It's complicated in my brain to put it out there to you in words what I'm trying to say. Um, actually, if I wrote it down, I could probably do it better. But, you know, the, the fact that a lot of people just accept that skinny equals feminine, is just, that's got to change too, just in my opinion. Yeah, I've lost a lot of weight, but it wasn't, some of it wasn't intentional, and none of it was in a bad way. It was all healthy. When I, when I got on the blockers, immediately I changed my diet. I went from eating everything I can put in front of my face to, you know, not really res restricting my diet, but I cleaned it up a lot. You know, instead of red meat every day or pork chops or steak, you know, I'm not eating like a guy anymore. I'm trying to eat more responsible, leaning more towards the female style of a diet. Now, I say it's a female diet. My wife, you know, she's as big as I am, and and she's still sexy and, and pretty, and she can out eat me on any given day, you know? I know. Yeah. I, I remember when we first got, when we were first dating, you know, I would go get a huge platter of food, 40 bucks for one plate, and she'd want the same thing, you know? And, and see, she made me fat. That That's it. Marriage made me fat. We pulled an Al Bundy in a peg, but, but you know, I ordered a huge $40 platter of seafood and just get all the extras on it. And she'd get the same thing. Well, I'd eat all mine and, and she'd take like two bites of her, her $40 plate and she'd be done. Well, I knew we were going to be running around when we we're dating. So I never wanted to take it home. So I'd sit there and eat two $40 platters this big full of seafood and steak and potatoes. So see, she was fattening, fattening me up before we even got married. But uh, now my eating habits were terrible. Doctor told me, you know, hey, we're going to put you on blockers. But quite frankly, your diet's terrible. You need to change it. Do something about it. They're, you know, they always wanted to send you to the nutritionist. So I'm like, no, I'll do it on my own. Uh, being a weightlifter, you know, it was always carbs, protein, lean meats, and uh, Micro fats, NOS, um, you know, and every now and then, um, what's it called? That stuff that makes your heart blow up if you take too much. Creatine. Yeah, creatine. Always. There's always, that was my diet. As much, you know, 10,000 calories in a day. Now, 
between working outside in the heat and uh, and just controlling my diet better, you know, I'm I'm sitting probably about 2,500 calories a day, and I munch in between meals. I'm doing red meat maybe once a week max. Uh, my big thing is chicken. I, I love chicken. Uh, chicken's healthier, and it's got uh, no yeah a lot of a lot of the chicken you get either got low potassium or no potassium. It all comes down to whether you bake it, fry it, steam it, or broil it. It all depends on on you know. We've got some chicken in the freezer right now, and I can eat it. It's got zero you know zero to like maybe 10 milligrams of potassium for serving i bought a i bought a, a rotisserie chicken on the fourth of july from from walmart and i got a home and I, I think it was less than a cup of the chicken off of there because of the way they cooked it it was like almost 200 milligrams of potassium but uh yeah definitely since i low low i lowered i backed off my potassium how, how much potassium intake i have i backed off my sodium intake Salt, salt intake. Uh, those are two huge things. Instead of eating seconds, I eat one serving. It, it comes basically down. You, yeah, okay. I'll admit, getting a little bit smaller did make me feel more feminine, you know, because it gets rid of the broad shoulders. It gets rid of, and it gets rid of the beard-looking gut you may have. Um, and honestly, if anybody has a tip on growing a butt, I really need a butt. I have like no butt. But it's cute. Yeah. Well, thanks, honey. My wife's in here commenting for me. She said, "But it's cute." I'm glad, but I got like no butt. I need some butt. Um, I've tried to. I've tried. What do you call them? Butt workout. I've tried to buck butt workouts. It just won't go anywhere. <clears throat> Typical like guy style body, you know, all gut, no butt. Always tugging the jeans up, you know. Um, but yeah, you can you can get smaller, but you can you. You need it if you do do it healthy. The, the risks of the some of the medications that we take to transition, the surgeries we go through. There's enough risk already there to pile it onto your body, your immune system, without adding further possibilities of damage. If you if you were to develop an actual eating disorder, so. Don't go that route. Just be who you are. Say, changes will take time. They will come. And, and the more you rush them, the more likely you're going to have complications. The more likely, if you have a surgery done and you try to get out too quick, you're not, you're not going to recover properly. And you don't want that because I don't know how long you may have waited to come out to get your transition going. But if you've waited as long as I had, then you want to do it right. Listen to the medical people. Listen, if you have a spouse like I do, listen to your spouse. You know, listen to your friends. And, you know, that's basically all, all I have to say about it is being feminine is about how you feel. It's not about how you look. I, I don't care if you have a wig on. I don't care if you have short hair. You know, I don't care if you have like no boobs at all or you got giant ones. I don't care if you got a little butt or a huge butt. It all comes down to per, per, personal preference to how you want to look. And honestly, I hate my tiny butt. I want a big butt. I hate my face. I want my facial feminization. But at this point, I can't afford it. I, I got to find, I still got to find a way to either finance it or get it done. I'll get there, but I I just want everybody to be safe. Whether you're going from female to male, you know, it, you can get big. Taking this testosterone, it'll take time. Exercise right. Uh, when I was lifting weights, one thing I found: a lot of guys they know if they lift too often, you won't get bigger. You will act, you'll get stronger, but you won't get bigger. If you overexert the muscles and don't give them enough time to to, uh, yeah. to heal, you will actually, the muscle will actually, you'll lose the water in the muscle and the new tears. And they will act, they'll, yeah, they'll look thinner, they'll look sharper, 
and you'll think they're bigger, but they're not. You'll go to put on your shirt and there's like no gain there, especially in the biceps and, and the traps. It just won't be there. Um, I'm, you know, I consider myself a female, but I don't know how a female is supposed to feel. So I'm just, I guess I'm kind of trying to tell you how I think I should, I should feel as a female. Me, when I do my eyebrows, do some makeup, my hair, I can tell my hair is grown out, my chest has changed, my pelvic area has changed, my legs are thin as a rail now. Um, you know, I've, my abs are starting to come out. I've never had abs in my life. Um, you know, that's that's how I feel feminine. The, my femininity comes from the way I dress and how people ad approach me. I don't go in public a lot because I'm, even though I'm sitting here on YouTube, I'm not big on people. Uh, I know it's uh, ironic, right? The difference is I can talk to you through the computer screen and you can't get to me. But if I go out in public and people bother me, yeah, I, I don't want that. <laughs> I'll stay right here in my little cave, my little safe zone, I guess. But uh, the other thing, the last thing I'm going to touch on, because we're coming up on 21 minutes, is uh, pronouns. Pronouns seem to be such a huge, huge thing. You know, as a trans person, I don't want attention. And I hear it over and over and over and over and over on, on social media and out in public. Well, trans people don't want attention. LGBT don't want it. If you do not want attention, don't draw it to yourself. Um, that's, I don't dress flashy. I don't dye my hair purple. You know, I'm not going to run around and scream, hey, I'm trans. You know, and quite frankly, I am not proud to be trans. In my mind, yes, I'm trans. I, I was supposed to be a female. I am a female, but I will. You will never hear me say I'm proud to be trans because I feel like I was kind of cheated. I feel like I should have been. I should have spent the last 38 years of my life being who I feel like I should be now. So um, that's that. Um, I guess that's pretty much going to be it. Just when. When you see these girls online, think about how many, when I say girls, trans females, think about how many of them use the face app on their face or on their abs or on their legs or on their boobs or on their makeup, and you don't know it. The apps are getting good enough. They can actually get around some of those systems now. Think of, it, you see how skinny they are. Think of, okay, they're going to use the app to get that way. If you want to, if you want to have a thin body and be healthy, it takes what a lot of people don't know how to do anymore: hard work and discipline. That's what you got to have, and that's what you got to. That's what you got to have to be famous. That's what you got to have to to be a good athlete. That's what you. That's what you got to have to be a good brother to your to your sister, or your other brothers. It, it's all an integrity. I will never get on here and talk about a news story about another trans person that has already been beat to death by the media. You know, you've already heard it 10 times in a day, so you're not going to hear it from me. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to get famous. I'm not here to, to talk politics. I am here to vent, share my story. And hopefully let other people identify with where I'm at for my age, my transition, where I've been, and where I feel like I can go. And that's that that is the main reason I'm on YouTube. Uh, I did post the second transition video, very brief. I did one the first time it was me transitioning because I am married and I have a supportive by spouse of 16 years. I did the second video, which included most of the pictures of her and I together. And, and you know, the kids weren't on there. Nobody else is on there, just her and I. And I did that because in one of my other videos, the title was that marriage and transition can exist. And that was the, that's the point of my current number two male to female transition video is to show you that she has been with me since they won leading all the way to right now. 
and it can be accomplished. It just takes work. And here's that word again, integrity. Communication between you, um, whoever it may be. Just communication between the couples. Okay, y'all going on, coming up on 25 minutes, so I'm going to say good night for now. Um, I guess it's probably next Friday. I'll post again. I hope to see. I hope to see you guys soon. Um, I'm. I need some new subscribers. Thanks for the views on the past videos, and I'll anxiously be watching. And I can't wait. And I still need content suggestions. So, um, if you got content suggestions, just leave a message. And let me know. I'll I'll read it right away. Uh, one of my readers told me I needed to cut the music out of the background, so I did. Here I am. <laughs> Love you guys. I've been Savannah Storm. Uh, I hope you come back to my channel. Be safe this weekend. Bye.